All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I am super late, but I've decided that I'm going to start making videos once a week for you guys. And that's going to give me a lot more time. And I give you guys a more substantial video so you can actually kick back and watch. Because apparently a lot of you guys actually enjoy my long commentary videos. That And that's that really shocked me. So I am very appreciative. And that's going to be the plan moving forward from now. I'm going to make those longer videos every week so you guys can just enjoy them and just listen to the commentary. But yeah, I'm going to give you guys my impression, my first impression slash review of the Final Fantasy VII um, demo remake, demo remake or Final Fantasy VII remake demo. <laughs> but yeah, I am not going to sit here and tell you guys that I'm a huge Final Fantasy like fan. I am not. I did play Final Fantasy X and X2 in the past. I played a bit of 13 too, but that's pretty much all my history of Final Fantasy. I did not play the original Final Fantasy VII. But I've seen so many clips, so many footage of that game. I It's like I already played the game, to be honest with you. I've seen so much. And I know that game has such a special heart, has such a special place in people's heart. I definitely get that. Because it's, it's one of those games, it's just a timeless piece, man. And you really can't cannot go wrong if you play a game like that i can tell if i play that game back in the day and if i was into rpgs i know i would definitely love that game but let's move on to the to the demo so right off the bat when i play the demo man like instantly i remember back in 2006 when i saw the final fantasy 7 advent children movie and i remember back then man like everybody just loved it everybody was like you don't even have to know what final fantasy is to enjoy this movie because back then as a kid i just wanted to see action i didn't care about story i don't care anything about story once it's action once it's awesome explosions and guns and it's really cool fight scenes that's all i want to see so my friend recommended that movie to me and when i watched it i was blown away and instantly you know i thought of a video game i'm like imagine when video games can actually look like this and when I played the demo, that's exactly what I saw. Because at that point, I'm not watching it on the video. There's no compression. There's no artifacts in the blacks or the you know the bright areas of the video. It's it's straight up like feed from your PlayStation. You're playing it directly on the console. So I I got to see the graphics just just hands on, and and I, and I was blown away. I was literally blown away. And this is on a base PS4. It is incredible how good the game looks, man. It's such a well put together game. And when I got into it, I started watching the cutscene, and then Cloud like jumped off the train, and he, you know, he landed. I was like, wow, like I can't believe it. At one point, I felt like, am I controlling the character right now, or is it still a cutscene? I had to like walk around and look at the character and really look at Cloud's face and his eyes and everything. And you can tell where the graphics is still being held back because of the, ba the base PS4. You can tell in certain sections of the face and the environment that, yeah, this can have a lot more detail. Can you imagine how this game would look if it was on the PC? I I, I would love to see this on the PC. But the graphics is awesome. Like, it, the way how the character looked, like, you know what's really just remarkable to me? The way how they can just make these characters so detailed. It's awesome. It's almost like they're lifelike, man. And can you imagine years from now when we see this graph is going to be like, well, it, it was really good for its time, you know, but, and then they have, like, way better graphics than that. Like, it's it's incredible. Even looking at RE, the RE2 remake, it's like I'm saying to myself, like, how 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 much further can they go with the graphics? Like, really, how, how far can they go? Because it looks so incredible. Cloud looks awesome. The swords and just the, the entire environment looks great, man. Playing the game... It was a treat like it was complete eye candy for me i'm, I'm impressed i'm completely impressed that's why when i saw it immediately i thought of advent ch advent children so i can't believe we're on a level where you know what used to be like movie cinematics for like a for like a movie game it's now in gameplay it's like in game footage you actually control it in something like this because i always thought to myself as a kid even playing like ps2 games you know ps2 games and ps1 games to me ps PS2 games especially, you would have these awesome cutscenes, CGI cutscenes, and you go into the gameplay, it's a completely different thing. I mean, you would watch, like, even PS1 games. So really seeing this, it's like a dream come true for me. It's like, it's really, it's a, a dream come true. Really, really, really. It's just, it's awesome to see such a great, such, I'm, I'm just blown away. It's just awesome to see graphics on this type, on, on this level. I'm just happy to be alive and be a gamer in this generation right now. So Final Fantasy, it looks great. Like graphically, it's a it's a great looking game. I can't I cannot deny that. It does it brings it back to the PS2 era. It brings it back to like you know that movie, that Final Fantasy movie, and seeing it come to life right now, and the, are you actually controlling it? I'm just blown away, man. Like let me know your thoughts down below. What you guys think of the graphics? Like tell me like how 
how how flabbergasted how surprised you were when you saw the graphics because I, I couldn't believe like I, of course i've seen gameplay of the demo before on youtube all over the place i've seen it but playing it hands-on it blows my mind because i know it can look better than this that's what blows my mind because it, it's almost like horizon zero dawn seeing horizon zero dawn on the base ps4 it looks incredible i haven't seen i haven't seen it on the ps4 pro and i heard it looks great and then now it's coming to pc can you imagine how good that game is gonna look and then you have horizon zero dawn 2 what's gonna look even better it's it's insane man so yeah that's pretty much that that's pretty much it for the graphics i'm gonna move on to like the gameplay so yeah, let's talk about gameplay now, and this is my favorite part of the whole demo, and obviously it's the meat and potatoes of the game, so everybody, this is everyone's favorite part pretty much. So yeah, playing the game, it's completely satisfying, and there's one thing about the game I definitely love, and this is going to help drive sales for the game. Obviously it's going to sell regardless, it's going to sell like hotcakes man regardless, but the way how the game is designed, and the way how the game looks, the particle effects, the way how the combat is, is really fast and fluid. It's almost like a, like a Devil May Cry, like a DMC. So a lot of people who would be turned off from RPGs, they would see a game like this and actually want to give it a try because it looks so awesome. It isn't just a turn, like a turn-based type of like RPG. And it doesn't look like an RPG, but it does definitely play like one. It's like an action slash slash rpg type of combat and I'm a, I'm a big fan of it so i know it has i know it's been done before because i think the last final fantasy 15 i didn't play it i didn't like it because the characters just looked so dull to me i love my characters to have diversity and look a lot more different a lot more you know have a lot more flavor to them and that's what i like about about the the final fantasy 7 remake every character looks really cool cloud looks cool you know that dude looks cool i don't remember their names that much to be honest i love the, the way how, T how tifa looks everybody has a unique look to them that's why i'm really a fan of this of this game but yeah let's focus back on the gameplay so for that reason alone we'll, we'll let a lot more people want to play this game and give it a chance man and even if not even if like 50 percent of people who are new to this type of game give it a chance i'm pretty sure a lot of them would actually find a new love for RPGs if they actually give this a, give this game a chance because yeah you can still pull off the flashy combos like you're playing DMC not entirely like DMC because there's some buttons kind of assigned to certain moves you know if you click L1 and you click X or you, you pr pretty much click L1 along with the next button you can pr perform like certain moves without slowing down the combat and it, it can become fun but one of my streamer friends you know he said to me that he saw the game it looked cool he was expecting the game to be like Devil May Cry, but he didn't like the idea of slowing down the game and choosing your attacks and, you know, basically strategizing. He doesn't like that part of it, but I, what I, what I was saying to him that, look, if you actually give it a chance, you will actually like it. Because what, what it does, it gives you time to, to think about what you're doing and strategize and pick your attacks. And it's the way how the demo is right now, you can't really utilize that and really get that satisfaction you would get. In the full game because i'm saying to him in the full game when you have a lot more enemies with different weak spots and different ways to take on specific enemies it becomes a very artistic pick and choose like what move i should use on what enemy and it becomes extremely satisfying and what i like about that you get that you get the you get basically the best of both worlds you get that you get the action satisfaction of playing a hack and slash game and you also get the satisfaction of strat like strategically picking certain skills of an rpg you know taking out multiple enemies i think the game feels great because switching between characters choosing certain spells you know this this enemy uses weak um, we, um this enemy's weakness is is thunder the next one is like fire and this one is ice so it's really fun to switch in between them and going from each character to the next character slashing your way at the same time slowing down i love the way how it feels that's a very cohesive and very satisfying feel to it it feels it feels great if it, it feels like you're doing like a it's like an artistic dance man i can't even explain that's always my my go-to explanation or like phrase to say when a game like does that well when combat flows so well it just feels right and it's a, it's addictive it's addicting it's just very satisfying it's almost like playing Sekiro it Sekiro seems so hard at first but when you actually take the time to understand the mechanics it flows so well you know you you jump when you can you can't um you jump you need to avoid certain attacks and so you parry you need to parry you know you you basically just clash swords it's just awesome i can't even explain the way how i want to explain this but it's extremely extremely fun 
And Final Fantasy VII Remake has that exact same feel. Obviously, it's not like Sekiro, but it has its own satisfying gameplay mechanic to it because you can't just button smash your way your way through it. And that's what my friend was saying. You can't button smash. It's kind of too, it's kind of weird for him. But I'm telling him if he gives the game a chance, I think he would really really like it and yeah phil i'm talking to you if you're watching the video if you're this far into the video i'm talking i'm talking to you man so i think it will give a lot a lot more people who has never tried a, a rpg game before you know to get to actually give it a chance and they might actually fall in love with it man because i feel like the combat is just really fun i think it's really fun and the particle effects it just looks awesome and that's the way how the game looks it's almost it has the same particle effects and stuff when you hit enemies it looks like a fighting game so it's like a fighting game slash rpg slash like action adventure game it's a really well put together game if you're into anime you will love it. you don't even have to be into anime to love this game you will love it if you actually take take the time to understand the mechanics and you'll find a love for it man i, I think you i think the game has something for everybody and if you give it a chance i think you would really really like it man i, I had such a blast such a blast playing it the way how the combat is and like i said if you're into anime you'll love it even if you're not you, you won't even if you're not you'll still like it because i love the whole the whole dialogue between the characters you know if you when you're fighting and you're you're using cloud for example you do like a certain move you switch into the next character in the car you know cloud would say it's my turn and this guy would be like okay i'll take over it's my you know that that cheesy in-game dialogue it's awesome it gives the game flow it's those small little details that make or makes a game so fun to play you really enjoy it but the particle effects just look great. It's just fun. I can't wait until I get the full game. You get to use Tifa and all that, all the rest of the cards. I don't really know the characters that well because, like I said, I did not play the original Final Fantasy. But I love the way how the game looks. And seeing some of like the some of the trailers and seeing like some of the early like the later gameplay, what, what we're gonna experience in the full game, I'm excited. I'm really really excited for it, man. It looks it just looks incredible. It plays incredible. I can't even explain how fun it is to play the game because even with cloud you have specific stance you can use because he has one stance where he slashes a sword and the next stance is kind of like he, he uses the sword again but he's a lot more slower but once he gets close to you he's really really fast it's all the characters have such a unique flavor to them and it just it plays well man the game is fun and i'm 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 happy to say that i'm gonna definitely get this i'm gonna i'm gonna stream it I'm gonna have a blast with it man it looks it looks great it plays great i just wish there was a lot more a lot more to it but i feel like the demo should have like maybe added a little bit more enemies to it to kind of give people more of a flow and kind of understand the way how the game mechanic is not saying the demo can help can't help you understand the mechanics but i feel like there needs to be more for let to make people really understand or really feel that fulfilling satisfying feeling that the game offers or sometimes people just don't give the demo enough chances. They'll play it once and they say, I don't want to play it again. You have to play it multiple times to really understand the way how it is. And once you get it down, you're going to be ready for the full game. And the full game is really fun. The full game is going to be really, really fun. I can imagine because I'm playing the demo over and over and I'm like, man, the full game is going to be so much fun because I'm, I'm getting the mechanics down. I'm understanding the way how the game is. My only problem with the game, the, the switching of the camera angles, kind of not a camera angles, but the switching of the targets on the enemies, it's kind of weird because I'll be trying to switch from this enemy to that enemy when I'm locked on. It's kind of weird. Sometimes it doesn't lock on the enemy that I want, and sometimes it kind of it's kind of buggy. I hope they adjust that. But besides from that, the game is fun. A lot of people complain the demo was hard. It wasn't really hard to me. Even the boss, to be honest with you, it wasn't that hard to me. My, my I beat the boss on my first on my first try. You know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people did it too. But some people are complaining that it's, it's super hard, and it isn't really that hard to me. But I know the full game will have harder bosses and so, but it was fun. It was a good challenge, but it wasn't hard to the point that I kept on dying over and over again. But I think it's great. I think it's great. The dialogue is fun. You know, it was funny when that girl was fl was flirting with Cloud. You know, I love that part too. The dialogue is fun. Cloud is all cool and collected. The world just feels alive. And I'm happy that it didn't do like a, what would I say? Like a, a word by word, like not word by word. But basically, made the game exactly the way how it was in the like in the original game. They actually added their own elements to it. You know, they basically draw out the game a lot more and add a lot more parts in there that wasn't in the original game. But like I said, I did not play the original. So if you guys, if you guys are like really knowledgeable of the original, like comment down below, tell me some stuff. You know, let me know if you guys played the original. Tell me some stuff they took out 
from the intros and stuff that didn't, that didn't put in there, like, let me know because I know this is basically the the opening hours of the game, like the beginning part of the game. I'm assuming. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. I I think the game is awesome. I don't know how long this commentary is. Hopefully, hopefully it's long enough. I love the combat, man. The combat is fun. I can't wait to play the full game. I I think it's I think it's phenomenal, man. It's, it's it looks great. It's fun to play. It's it's just a fun. Is it a fun st st strategic type of type of RPG? And the, the, what I love about it too, I love the fact that it's it's not just turn based. It's just action based. And to be honest with you, even if it was just turn based with that level of graphics, I'll be fine with it. But I'm happy that 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 it, that it evolved, and they really needed to make it evolve. It wasn't it wasn't gonna stay the same way forever. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video, and I see you guys in the next one. Like I said, I'll post a video once a week. If I can post a video a lot more frequently, I will try to post a video like, you know, before a week and before the week comes. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.